Hello, Internet Sister Root. Uh, in order to make a nice compromise for maximum height and videography or photography or whatever you want to call it, which if I was to take photos, it would require me to get a ladder. <laughs> or to take videos from standing on such a high point, yes, a ladder. Unless I started recording and edited the part out where I mounted it and heightened it. That could be better. But taking photos, I had to set a 20 second timer before I could actually get it set up and positioned and then fired away. I damaged one part of my Velbon monopod, which is pretty pricey. And I gutted a damaged Polaroid tripod. Sorry, Polaroid tripod. You know, one of those budget ones. Nice thing about it, it's taller, actually about the same height as my other tripod, the more expensive one. So I got from a flea market for a hefty reduction in price. Well, that one I didn't gut, but it works fine. It's silky smooth, and that's the way I like it. And this one, it was clunky, it was shit. It wobbled way too much when I turned it up and down, left and right, so that wasn't a good thing. I've gotten so used to professional grade tripods that now I don't want to go away from it. So I essentially knocked off the head mount because that was shit. It wasn't traditional. It was really cheap. And the mounting piece that keeps the damn thing stable and straight, you know, when you level it, it kept falling backwards. That part fell out inside it. And part of it chipped. So that was useless and that disappointed me so now once i knocked off all the pieces it was easy to get off with a hammer and just two screws took the uh, mounting bracket part off because that's handy to put a spacer inside it you know the part that you attach the quick release piece yeah i took the latch off because the quick release part that goes on it that's so cheap that breaks easy i've already come across pieces that were Easily broken online, so I'm lucky I didn't put any money into that tripod. It is now part of our monopod system. That socket just fits perfectly with my monopod. Ever since ripping the topper off of it and unspeakably snapping the aluminum on my thinnest piece of my Velbon monopod, it fits into the shaft just nicely, this mid piece, and it's stable. I put one of my own screws that doesn't quite fit properly in, but it keeps it stable, you know, keeps it from shifting. That's what you want. And all in all, it is 305 centimeters tall with the extension rod I have. And how do I put it? Well, I can, uh, easily take video. I won't be able to adjust the angle, however. Over large crowds, once this shitstorm goes away, you know, the pandemic, it was just the same as during the Spanish flu, except nobody did physical distancing, and 56.6 billion people died as a result of that. Thankfully, we're not those numbers yet. Anyways, once this blows over, I can start filming in very large crowds and not have to be too concerned about heads popping up over the previous height I had, which was about 1.5, sorry, 1.75 meters in total. So, 300.05 meters, sorry, 3.05 meters is actually pretty damn good. I'm happy. That I actually got it to that height. I'm not about to make extension rods. And as for stability, yes, it wobbles to a point. It sways. So the tripod was subjected to, I don't know, a bit of a windy scenario. Yeah, the rod would shake. And that could pose a bit of a problem. But if it's on an area where it's not so windy at all, it's fine stable it stays where it is it doesn't uh, shift I'm talking about the rod when you put it inside the tripod itself is stable rock solid it's even got the hook mine doesn't have it but this one's got a hook I should get one for mine 
somehow. Then I can put counterweights on to make it even more stable, which is a good thing. Just tie a brick on it. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. My photography options just exploded, and that's a good thing. Or videography, whatever you want to call it, because I mostly do video. Anyways, peace out. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more. It doesn't cost a thing.